What's going on, YouTube? Got another pepper tasting video going on right over here. This time, uh, this one was sent to me by Aaron Hernandez from the Pepper Lovers community, and uh, which everybody should uh, go over and check it out. Um, this time he sent me, I believe this is one of them, um, a King Naga, and uh, got a better uh, view of it here right now. And right over here, we've got all of the peppers that were sent to me from Aaron. And right over here, these should be the, uh, the King Naga. It's uh, got one that's all real curly cued and all wrinkled up and everything. This guy is pretty wrinkled up too, but it's long and bumpy. So... I think I'll just go for, I don't know, I'm still wondering. I was going to go for the big, long one, but uh, I don't know. Now I'm thinking maybe the uh, short, wrinkly-looking one might be the way to go. Uh, I don't know. We will go ahead and decide that, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, here we go. These are the two. I believe both of these. Um... Aaron said the big bumpy one that would be this guy right here um, but and he also said later that those were the King Naga so I believe both of these are the King Naga um, and either way I'm pretty sure this one right here is the one um, pretty sure both of them are but uh, this is the one I'm gonna go for so it's the bigger one it's very bumpy the other one's kind of bumpy and wrinkly but uh, I think I'm going to go with the big one first. You know, why? Because why not? So, all right, let me take one more quick break. I uh, figure I'm just going to go ahead and cut it open right here. That way we can use this light that's over here and actually take a look at it. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty. Let's cut open. Let's see, it's kind of glistening a little bit. Um... That's just the outside that's glistening a little bit. Um, yeah, fair amount of placenta on this side. Doesn't look like any seeds, so I don't think I'm going to clear out any of the placenta on this side um, to try to get at the seeds. This one is where it looks like all the seeds are hiding, so I'm going to move around some of the placenta there and take some of these seeds because I've never even... Uh, well, I've heard of King Naga, but I've never really uh, messed around with... Um, trying to get any of them to grow so of course if there's seeds there I want to try so but that's what it looks like on the inside I don't think it's gonna give me any better of a picture at least with my light and my camera but as you can see it is very shiny um, but yeah this side looks very nice probably be my starter side and follow up with the other half here hold on to the other one over there for later purposes, but there appears to be a bunch of seeds right behind that placenta there. So definitely want to get them out. There's one right there, kind of, no, you can't really see it, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. Kind of popping out of the placenta there. So I want to make sure, there, we can see it a little bit better right there. So I definitely want to keep these seeds, and uh, I'm just a miser for seeds. Any kind of seeds that I get... I want to keep on to them, hold on to them, and, um, you know, try to grow them out and see what kind of plant I get, um, especially with, like, the hybrid type seeds and stuff like that, because you never know what you're going to get sometimes, but, uh, King Naga, anyway, let's just jump right into this one, shall we, because, yeah, like I said, don't really know much about it, so let's do this. All right, I got a few seeds out of, uh this pepper, and the side that I said uh, wasn't going to have a lot of seeds, I think it had the most, but what is really neat is if you spread this guy open, I don't know if that's really going to show up in the light, but it is really, really, I mean, it's kind of start. you can get glimpses of the inside there, but it really looks shiny on the inside, so let's try this guy up. Back again, and uh, yeah. That's not the one I cut open, but uh, I've got the other one ready to go, so I figured, what the heck, let's just 
go ahead and dive right into this. No uh, reason to make this a 20 minute video unless it like burns or something like that. Um, I didn't look into the King Naga very much. I did um, like two days ago, I believe. And I saw on a UK site that it was very rare and they were one of two sites that had like the rights to have the seeds and stuff like that, which is weird to me because once you get them, you share them, and then you share them, and, like, after three generations, like, the seeds get out there. But, um, yeah, so they, well, I guess the official King Nugga is what they were saying. Um, but apparently it's got some heat to it. I can't even remember what it said about that. I'm a stickler for the Scoville. I love seeing the number just to, like, put it in my mind, like, where does this stack with the other one? Like, I did one here. Oh, but this one's right here. Oh, it's going to be worse. I like that whole, uh, that whole game of it. Um, and I believe it said it was, like, 900,000-something Scoville, like, 970 or something like that. So in my mind, like, I boot Jalokia is right here at a mill, and it's, like, right here. So it's not quite a boot. But, I mean, it's still nothing to be frowned upon. But, um, if I'm correct, I don't even remember. I looked it up just casually looking, and uh, to be perfectly honest, I thought it would be more, uh, more better. It would be uh, so much better if I didn't really know anything about it and just hopped right into it. So, that all being said, hopefully this is going to be a short video then. Um, yeah, so, bam, we got all that out of the way. We got our whole intro. We got our little looking at the pepper part. And now we're just down to, uh, yeah, I got these uh, two different uh, pods that are cut open. Wow. And it definitely smells pretty warm. My dog is, like, rubbing her nose on the carpet over here. Very weird. Definitely smells pretty warm. Oh, look at that, no gloves. I never wear gloves. Um, I don't know, maybe that light will pick up on there or something, but it's definitely glistening on the inside. It definitely has, uh, I don't know, it's been like a good five or ten minutes since I uh, cut them open. Um, the other half here, wow. Jeez, oh man, it's like, you can actually see oil drops on the skin of the pepper. I don't know if that's going to show up, but, uh, well, maybe if I get it in a light, it will have a better chance. I don't know, am I reflecting the light there? But it actually has little, like, oil drops that are, uh, built up on the inside of the, uh, walls of the pepper. So, anyway, yeah, big old King Naga, um, yeah, don't really know much about it, so, here's half of it, anyway. Definitely comes with some heat. You alright? There was uh, some sort of flavor burst right there, but then the heat started kicking in, and I don't know what the flavor burst was. Definitely pretty warm. Oh, and, um, uh, <laughs> getting lost in my own thoughts here. Um, when that flavor burst hit, like, <laughs> I had, like, um, almost like a tearing effect. And when that happened, like, it wasn't really, like, tears. It was, like, hot pepper juice in tears. Like, it was, like, a hot tear. Very weird. Um... Actually, now my eyes are starting to water a little bit. It went, I guess it went from, like, tip of the tongue all the way to, like, the... Uh, 
I want to say back of the throat, but it's mainly like across the whole tongue. But definitely the back of the throat. And it's definitely building pretty good. Okay. There's a couple tears. It's still building. Now I can start. Uh... <laughs> Still got tearing, especially in this eye, not really this one. But, um,. Now I'm definitely getting some throat burn. I think it's uh, yeah, it's kind of dissipating off the tongue. Kind of, it's really weird. Like uh, it's real, it was really strong up front, and it's kind of like dissipating backwards. Like I don't know, like it's going away. I mean, there's definitely still heat there, but um. No, all of a sudden, like, like right up here, like, by the tonsils and stuff, that started burning. And then all of a sudden, like, I don't know, like a drip right down the back of the throat started to burn. So, I don't know. And this eye is still tearing. This eye, just a little bit. But this one, I feel like it's actually crying. Ugh. But, hmm. But the heat's dying a little bit. Well, a lot of it. My dog's chewing on her paw. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely runny nose. Definitely clearing you out a little bit. <clears throat> wow. That was a good burn to it, too. Very nice burn. Um, yeah, kind of, um, uh, it's got some kind of flavor. Um, horrible with this whole, uh, trying to say what I'm, uh, tasting. But the flavor was real unique. Um, I mean, I don't know, like habanero, I think that's mainly what a lot of them taste like, but habanero or hot pepper-like, and, um, I don't know, it had like a weird twist to it. That was pretty good. Somewhat steady hands. Um, darn. Guess I should have ate that other one, huh? Like I said, runny nose. Um, I don't know. That one had a fair amount of heat, so... Alright, screw it. Peer pressure. I know you're out there saying, do it, do it. Look at all of the uh, shininess on there. Let's relive this again, huh? Hang on. Good. Is that where I'm wiping my eye? That's not right. Alright, now we'll wipe the eye over here. Alright. Alright, let's try it again. Let's see what, uh, what have I been missing. I'm sure I'm missing a bunch. Wow, that thing is really bumpy. Really crazy little bumps on there. Alright, now that I'm talking, it's going to be a longer video. Um, Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and hurry up and do this.
like a regular pepper. There's that burst. No, I think it's just the heat that's the burst. Hmm. Yeah, I think that was the the heat burst. Not like a flavor burst. I don't know. It has a... Um, oh, man. I know that flavor. What? It tastes like something. Like, um... Think of it, but there's oh wow, this one went straight to the back of the throat uh, with the heat. But there's something about the um, deeps. Come here, come here. Something about the um, like the flavor burst of the heat. Whew. One little tear about to pop out on this side. Use this sleeve. And it's got some heat to it. It's a building heat. Wow, <laughs> one swallow and this, I like had like three tiers and this one started with one. No, um, well, maybe a little back of the head heat and sweating. Touch this eye. <laughs> Dog food bombing me. Yep. Definitely touch this eye with some of the pepper. All in the name of pepper reviewing. But the good news is now it's tearing more. So it's going to just go ahead and drain out. Look at that. I think it's about to. This side is about to start tearing too. There it goes one. Wow, it's a hot tear too. It's like burning as it's going down. And a, ah, and a, ah, damn it. And of course, the uh, snot's going. Here enough and it goes away. I don't know. This side definitely got a little bit of uh, capskin in it. Whoops. And there goes a couple more tears. But the heat is um, really subsided. Actually, 
the most amount of heat I feel right now is definitely in this eye. But, hey, I do it for the YouTube. Not like when Biscuit it does it for the nookie. Um, I would. There's just no nookie in the pepper videos. Oh, man. I should probably keep Kleenexes here, huh? All right. Anyway, that was pretty fun. So I was a King Naga. It's definitely pretty freaking hot. Like I said, uh, that was Aaron Hernandez. If I didn't say that, I hope I did. Um, that grew that and sent it to me. Wow. Very good. Um... He's over there on the Pepper Lovers community, one of the awesome people over there. So you should go check out the Pepper Lovers community. Um, and if you like growing peppers and stuff like that, I encourage you to go over there and just lurk around and just watch everybody and listen to what they're talking about. Um, that's what I did for a whole pile of months. And um, I learned more in those couple months than I did in... I don't know, years and years and years of growing um, and listening to other people. Um, but yeah, just doing that alone. Ah, still got snot going. Um, just doing that alone. Yeah, endorphin rush kicking in? Nah, not really. Um, but yeah, it was just hanging out lurking and stuff like that and learned a whole pal. And um, next thing you know, you're making comments and stuff. And uh, yeah, and you're part of the community. But, uh, yeah, before we go, um, he do, uh, all this on camera with kids watching. No, no, not at all. They're gonna see way crazier stuff than this. But Jeffrey had a request, um, just ate the King Naga whole pod, I guess. This should be the other one. Um, my nose is still running. Hey, wait, I can use this. ears popped and everything. Alright. Not set the pepper on that. Alright. Because, uh, a while back I had a seed giveaway. Yeah, I gotta explain everything now, don't I? Um, a while back I had a seed giveaway and Jeffrey was one of the winners of my seed giveaway. I think my first seed giveaway. And ever since, he leaves me crazy freaking, uh, comments on my videos that are awesome. They make me laugh every time. One of them, um, he didn't call me a sadomasochist, but he said if I would like to be one, which I don't really like to be one, but um, he kind of dared me to, once I'm done eating a hot pepper, I, I believe it was more like right after I was done doing it, but I'm going to do it now, like, what is this, five minutes later, whatever. Hey, doing it. Um, but anyway, um, he kind of dared me, in a sense, to just go ahead and uh, take a shot. Well, I don't know why it says Green Bay Packers on there. I I have no uh, football affiliation, but I uh, found this uh, shot glass in my uh, my house. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this because uh, he said it's gonna burn more after eating hot peppers. So I don't know if that's true. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really like al uh, liquor. I love alcohol. <laughs> Not a big fan of straight liquor. Um, nah. Well, eh, there's a little burn, I guess. It's more in the stomach. Oh, maybe that's what you were talking about. Man, didn't think of that part. I thought you meant mouth burn. Oh, there is a little bit mouth burn. But, anyway... That was just for Jeffrey right there. Um, I don't know why I did that. That was pretty dumb. But anyway, thank you very much to Aaron Hernandez for sending me the, um, those pods. Uh, the King Naga. That was the King Naga. Um, like I said, I'm pleading ignorance on this one. Um, Um, 
yeah, I'm pleading ignorance on this one. I really didn't look it up or anything like that. And that's just the kind of uh, thing that I do. It's more on my part of I didn't look it up and I'm not going to sit here and worry about it's 1.2 million on the Scoville because I kind of study the Scoville uh, for every pepper that I'm growing. So when I get one that I'm not growing, I just kind of wanted to keep it, uh, I don't know, a secret until I did it. So, huh, I don't know. That was... Uh, it was definitely up there somewhere, so uh, thank you very much, Aaron. I uh, hope you liked this video. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. I'm still trying to figure out what this flavor is from the King Naga. Um, it's totally pepper-like, but there's something different to it. it. It's like a twist to it. That's just going to bug me until I can actually identify that. But if I do, I will throw it up on Twitter. There you go. Catch me up on uh, Twitter, A with a circle, R-A-V-T-O. Um, check out my seed giveaway. Uh, that's still going on till the end of the, uh, the month. This is August 2016. It'll be closing at the end of August. Um, also, check out all my aquaponics, hydroponics, and all that other fun stuff. Uh, yeah, that's all my plugs. So, yeah. Uh, also, yeah, double check, uh, double check. Yeah, check them out and then come back and check them out again. Uh, the Pepper Lover community over there on Google+. Plus. I'll throw a link down below uh, and do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below. Uh, leave me a comment. Always love that. Hit that uh, thumbs up button if you thought this was uh, a little bit fun. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this or all my other videos. So hang on, we got a burp coming. There's that weird flavor again. It's almost like a habanero, but like... Mm. Yeah. Oh. There's some heat with that burp, too, actually. But it's kind of like a habanero, but it's like drawn out and like there's different flavors in there. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's definitely good. Um, especially like three minutes after you eat it. That's when it's really, really good. But, uh, yeah. That would be the, those endorphins kicking in. But anyway, that was, man, I tried to make this short, but I'm sure it's nice and long. But hey, I uh, went ahead and did your dare, Jeffrey. Hey, check that out. Anyway, uh, thank you so much to Aaron Hernandez yet again. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, do all that fun, happy social media stuff uh, down below. I'll catch y'all in the next video. So, till then, later. <laughs>